Horse Jim with Boots, number nine. Putting the mat on cue. I learned this work from Alex Curlin, and what we do is we set out a V shape of markers with the mat at one end, and once the horse is happy walking through there, we introduce the idea of halting. We've halted at the furthest marker, and the horse needs to wait for the walk on cue before we move on to the mat. Once your horse is really keen to get to the mat, is a perfect time to introduce this task and a click and a treat for the mat. Then we walk forward off the mat and make a loop around and this time we're going to go a little bit closer, one mark closer, halt, click and treat. The horse has to wait and need to vary the waiting time before going to the mat, sometimes shorter, sometimes longer, and click and treat for reaching the mat again. And notice here I'm in the horse's left eye, and we're getting quite close now. Second to last marker. Halt. Wait for my cue to proceed. See, she was a bit keen there. She has to wait for my cue to go target the mat. So that's what we're after, for the horse to wait. Once we have a nice halt, we can ask for a backup as well. So I turn to ask her to back up, and she gets a click and a treat, just a different angle here. I turn and ask her to back up for several steps, and that also earns a click and a treat. And she has to wait until I give the cue to go stand on the mat. So the rule is that now we're going to wait from me before we go and stand on the mat, wait for the cue, and we might do other things in between. If you've taught the back up in a corner with your hand signal, you can see my outside hand there giving her a signal to back up. This is a nice place to practice it as well, and we get a click and a treat for that. Just a different view of the same thing using my hand signal for a couple of backup steps. Forward, a couple more backup steps, forward couple more backup steps so you can make the whole thing quite sophisticated and the horse is paying attention and going to the mat when we ask it to. And this is another way to work on the balancera exercise which means the horse is as happy to go backwards as it is forwards. So if you give a cue for back, a cue for front, a cue for back, a cue for front. I'm using a whole body cue here which is not necessarily something we have to do. And we go to the mat for a release from that exercise. Click in a treat on the mat. Now we can also generalize this idea that we only step on mats when I give a cue is by laying out a row of mats and doing things between and around them. And it's not unless I focus her attention to a mat that I want her to stand on the mat. So here you can see we're weaving a series of five mats and not standing on any of them at this point so that's one exercise so we're weaving them and now we're making a u-turn around a mat and then weaving and I'm focusing on that one and she understands to put her feet on that one for a click and a treat now sometimes I might want to stand on the mat and just ask her to walk around me while I'm on the mat. It's a bit of fun. Now we can do a U-turn. We can put the U-turn together with the weave and then the focus. Oh no, first, So we did a weave, a U-bend, a weave, a walk around me, and finally a focus. So you can see how you can put all these things together to make it a bit of fun. You can also use two mats and do a figure eight around the mats and the horse needs to wait until you focus on the one to stand on. And here she's asking, shall I stand on that mat? Shall I stand on that mat? And I says, no, not yet. We're just doing a figure eight. And then we're going to come around this one. And then now I'm focusing for her to go stand on the mat, which she does.